Philadelphia has a crazy role historically because it's the first capital of a republic, of a self-governing society, and nobody really knows what's supposed to happen. Um, the fact that you could walk down Market Street and see Washington come out his front door, get into his carriage, or not, just stroll down the street toward the, uh, toward the State House, which is, was then the national capital. In certain ways, people didn't know whether that was normal or bizarre. When he brought his carriage to Philadelphia with his coachman and his black footman, um, he didn't know whether people would think that was appropriately dignified or whether people would think that was hopelessly pretentious and royalist. Jefferson, Hamilton, Marshall, the Supreme Court, the people whose names for us are the names of towns and streets and legends, these folks are walking on the street with white laborers, free blacks, enslaved blacks, property owners, people who are struggling to get their little businesses up and running, get their commerce to work, get down to the port and pick up some stuff from their ships. Nobody thought these guys were anything special at the time 